WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny, very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. A bit of a mixed bag out here. The Dow is trading off 478 and the S&P down 38, while the NASDAQ is up 53 and the NASDAQ composite up 53 points as well. That's about a half a percent to the upside. Semis are off 18 uh, points. That's down three quarters percent. Russell's off uh, three quarters percent or 12 points out there. So what does all this mean? Well, actually, first, before we try to go figure out what all this means, let's look at a couple things I didn't get to here during during the Trader's Ed Show. Here is the 30-minute uh, TAS Market Profile Market Breath uh, Reader. We can see right now we've got uh, 28 instruments trading above the top of their profile, five below. That gives us a bullish crossover and says a rally could or should continue from here inside the NDX 100. If we take a look at the larger time frame, 60-minute, 240 daily and weekly, on the 240-minute chart out here, what we will see is that we have a uh, bullish, slightly bullish crossover no, it's a tie. It's kissing cousins. 41 trading above, 41 trading below their 60-minute profile. So this is going to be important to watch. If you do get that bullish crossover, that would then suggest a further rally. On the four-hour time frame, as we take a look at its market breadth, you've got 35 instruments trading above the top, 38 trading below. So the uh, Q is getting to a stage here where they're either going to make it or break it. No reason for us to look any further at this stage here. Let's just go switch over and take a look at our cash indice charts. Just give you a quick feel for what they are communicating to us. And if we take a look at the Dow Jones right now, price has held that red oscillator and change line. As long as price remains above it, you could see a further rally. That further rally taking us up to the prior high in the 31800 level. Same uh, same diagnosis for the S&P 500 with a price target around 3950. The NDX 100, same diagnosis with a target in the 122 100 level. Russell 2000, same thing. Price has held its oscillator and change line. That suggests we could get up to the 1790 level. The semiconductor is the one index that is not participating at all. And what I mean by that, there's no bottom signals. Price is not trading near a breakout level. Price is trading below its red oscillator and change line. A red oscillator and change line says we have a falling, uh, we have a price oscillator below zero. When price is below that, we have a falling price oscillator below that, below that, and that is a bearish, directionally speaking, outcome. Whereas the transports are holding support, the oscillator and change line. So too is the Nasdaq Composite. New York Stock Exchange is saying, "Hey, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I want my lower price." Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear is up next. Have a terrific Tuesday. I'll look forward to seeing you 1 o'clock sharp for the uh, 1 p.m. update. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks.